Hi everybody, it's Richard and I'm back for another video and uh, I'm back with some more new Paul McCartney news. Um, well, just about a week after announcing his uh, 2022 Got Back tour, which will begin on April 28th, um, his, his new 2022 tour, which will be kicking off on April 28th. Um, Paul McCartney has now uh, released today that he is going to be re be uh, releasing a record store day release, but it's not going to be released on record store day. It's going to be released on his birthday, his 80th birthday, June 18th. So... You know how Record Store Day is, is a brand. Um, it's not just like that. It, it has a website and everything. It's a brand. So apparently this is going to be a Record Store Day record. But it won't be released on Record Store Day on April 23rd. It's going to be released on June 18th. Paul McCartney's 80th birthday. And it is going to be a two-sided. Um, it's going to be a 12-inch um it's going to be a 12-inch black vinyl with uh, an A side and a B side, and it's going to be, um, it's going to feature Paul McCartney's song from his uh, McCartney 3 and 3 Imagined album, Women and Wives, which apparently won um, re the, the Record Store Day's inaugural Song of the Year. So I guess Record Store Day is giving away awards now. Paul McCartney won its inaugural song of the year with his um, song from his McCartney 3 album, Women and Wives. Um, so, side A is going to be Paul's uh, original version from the McCartney 3 album um, of Women and Wives from the 2020 McCartney 3 album. And side 2 is going to be um, St. Vincent, Vincent's version from the uh, McCartney 3 reimagined album. Um, so it's going to be a side A and a side B, 12-inch um, black vinyl, and there's going to be 3,000 of these made. So 3,000 made. So there's going to be 3,000 of them. It's Women and Wives, um, Paul's Regular Virgin, and then the three imagined version. Um, now, I, I looked at the cover of this, and I don't know, it's just the cover, it's kind of, it's not really my cup of tea, I'm not really wild about the cover. Um, I mean, I don't know, I'm sure you've seen it already, this has been out for a few hours, but, uh, I'm not wild about the cover, I'll probably pick, I'll probably pick it up, because, the, because I think the hype sticker says Song of the Year on it, so I'm, so I'm probably gonna pick it up, um. Yeah, but the cut, like I said, the cover is not really my cup of tea. I'll try and see if I can make it the thumbnail for this video. But I'm sure you've all seen it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I guess since he won Song of the Year with the, he, I, he, he figures he might as well, uh, put something out with, with, uh, the song with the Women and Wives. I don't know. I don't know, like I said, I, like I said, I'm probably just going to pick it up for the hype sticker, and because I am a Paul, uh, a Paul McCartney uh, collector, and I try to be a completist when it comes to Paul McCartney, so I probably will pick this up, but uh, I don't know, I mean, it's not that big a deal, if, if you want it, I'd say if you want it, go buy it, if you don't need it, if you don't want it, don't buy it, it's not that big a deal. But like I said, I like the looks of the hype sticker with the song of the year on it. So, um, yeah, so Paul is going to be releasing, um, a Record Store Day record, even though it won't be, um, on Record Store Day. It's sanctioned by Record Store Day. It's on June 18th on Paul's 80th birthday. Um, it's going to be a... A-side and the B-side black vinyl. The A-side is Paul's regular 2020 McCartney 3 version of Women and Wives. And side B is the reimagined version by St. Vincent of Women and Wives. And uh, like I said, I'm going to try and put the cover of it on here as the thumbnail. 
I'll try to do the best I can with that. If not, you can just go online and look up the uh, cover. So let me know what you think. Are you going to pick this up? Or are, you, are you not interested? I just thought I would come on and make a quick video. Because even though it's not that big a deal, not that big a breaking news, I just thought I would come on and make a video and let me know if you're interested. And let me also let me know if you're going to see Paul on the 2022 Got Back Tour. Like I said, if he comes to Pittsburgh, I'm definitely going to try to go. Let me know if you're going to go in the comments. And until next time, remember, peace and love. Peace and love is the only way.